Hello and welcome to Finch Plays FIFA 16 with Palermo in career mode. What a session we had last time. A draw against Lazio I was a little bit perturbed about, but then a scintillating, demolishing, absolute quantifiable rollicking against Juventus. We absolutely hammered them 1-0. And that was just, you know, that was a fantastic game. The goal was a beauty. Um, the performance was pretty good. We made chances. Juventus were difficult to deal with, but we dealt with them. And that's, that's really, at this point, all that matters. So um, having a look at the table, we're in a pretty good spot. We're in fourth. Inter Milan did drop points. They lost at home against Napoli, which puts us in a precarious position where we... Hold on a minute. Goal difference of 19. They have a goal difference of 23. I don't know how we're above them. I don't know what magic has gone on here. However... Um, yeah, that's really strange. Anyway, we'll ignore that. Fuck that. That's fine. That's good. That's the, the universe working on our favor. We are seven points clear of uh, Roma at the moment. We're seven points clear. And that means that over the course of the next five games, realistically speaking, we can have like two losses. And I think that's a nice cushion to have because let's face it, Palermo occasionally dip in form. Um, but I'd like to keep nice and strong towards uh, the end of the season. If we can grab, like, what, another 10 points and hit, like, 70 points for the end of the season, that would be a great first season for me as a manager of Palermo. That would be really, really ace. So our first game of the episode is going to be up against uh, Atalanta at home. Uh, where is this? There it is. Uh, play match. Here we go. So our first game is going to be at home against Atalanta. However, as you can see, our squad are absolutely shit-faced. So we're going to have to make some... Uh, some slight changes, I think, to, to make ends meet. Uh, Bolzoni, I think, he's not had a chance to, to do much recently. So I'm going to bring him on for the Viquez. Slip Hillymark up in that slot there. I always have this preconception that Hillymark's a, like a center defensive mid, but he's not. He's actually got, you know, decent passing stats, which is what he's supposed to do. Um, Yayalo, I'll swap for Chochev, I think. I'll bring Morganella on for Cotal, and then what I'll probably do around halftime is bring Durdovic on for Gilardino. Maybe let Maresca have a bit of a run around. Uh, let's plow into our reserve players, as it were. Um, I still don't want to give Case on the light of day because he pisses me off so much. I'll bring Brugman on. Yayalo had such an incredible uh, game against Juventus. He did really, really well, earned himself a solid 8.0 with his contributions, but yeah. I think we'll roll with this, we'll make a few changes at halftime, and we'll see how we do. So here we are, at home, with Palermo against Atalanta. This is going to be the first game in the episode. Uh, Jasmine Kurtic, as I'm led to understand, is an ex-Palermo player who's going to be uh, contending with us today. That's fine, I can deal with that, a little bit of heartbreak here and there, but uh, yeah. We're in, we're in fine fettle. I hate using that term, but it's just so addictive. Um, we're in fine fettle after our win against the league leaders, Juventus. Um, and I want to... I, oh, Jesus wept. What a horrible pass. I want to make the most of that. I want to take that and run with it. And I think today we could definitely pick up some good points against Atalanta. Sends it through for Gilardino. It's a nice touch to Hilliamark. Back to Chochev. Nick forward decently, and it's Bolzoni! Oh, he's hit the post! Bolzoni with an absolute dribbler, just tickling the post there, Jesus! That definitely should have been 1-0. Gonna keep coming with Chochev through to Gilardino. Um, I actually wanted that to be a fake shot, so never mind, but oh, Bolzoni, so unfortunate for him not to get his first goal of Serie A. That's a horrible error by the goalkeeper and Gilardino looking to expose him for it. Just off target. Oh man, I thought it was going to maybe nip over the keeper and it really, to be honest, should have gone into the top corner. Bolzoni contending with his man, but Chicarini gets away from him. And Gomez, that lad that stormed through earlier, back to Drame. And look how much space they've got to try and make do with. And that's going to be a great header from the Atlanta player there, number 18. He was almost unmarked at the back post. Look how much space Morganella given them. 
It's a great cross. I think Sorrentino probably should have been able to do a little bit better with that, but to be fair, he probably couldn't see it. It's 1-0 Atalanta. No sooner do I return uh, Morganella to his fullback role than he completely screws me. Um, but Hillymark could make it happen and oh! What a response from Palermo! It's Oscar Hilliamark who slips through. I don't know how their defence was so far back. I have no idea what happened. But we had so much space there to make work with. And he stuck his foot out. It was an unfortunate bounce. And all Hilliamark needed to do was side foot it into the top corner. And that is exactly what he did. One all. Atalanta in no uncertain terms have pulled a Palermo here, and they may have just done so again. And it's Gilardino with the least convincing finish that I've ever fucking seen. Oh, he was gifted that there to make it 2-1, and he's fucking basically fluffed it. Disappointing from him. Here comes Drame, and it's Lazar, who for some reason, for bizarre reasons, on this side. Oh, what a ball! What an incredible cross from Atalanta! It's gone right across, and Dennis has put it in. Fuck me, what a rocket of a pass! Absolutely nothing to be doing with that. It's a great cross, it's a great finish, and it's 2 1 Atlanta. So frustrating to be doing so well and then have it come away from us. But here's Villalba looking to make some room. He gets through for Mascaro. He's going to put it across this Bolzoni and again, despite having all the time in the world to ratchet something harsh up. It's just an easy, easy collection for Sportiello, their keeper. Trying to ride his luck. Sends it forward for Lazar. And Lazar heading towards the touchline. He's going to send it in. That is the weirdest cross I've seen. And that is an easy, simple goal kick decision. What's he supposed to do with that, Lazar? Seriously. Jesus Christ. I just, I wish that we had uh, slightly more competent crosses for definite. Bellini collects it. And there goes the halftime whistle. What an absolute clusterfuck of a half for us. Um, I feel hard done by, to a certain degree, but um, at the same time, definitely something we can come back from in the second half. We've proved that we can be dangerous, we just need to now be clinical. Confirmation of the substitutions, Rigoni, Derdovic, Mareska coming on, Giladino, Hillymark, and Bolzoni come off. I'm not at all convinced by uh, Bolzoni at the moment. Even when he is intercepting, he's going off balance and not really able to hold much. Um, the only player that I can really, really see flagging at the moment is going to be uh, our youngster, Pablo Mascaro. He seems to be in a bit of a rough way. Um, and speaking in a rough way, here comes Drame. Oh, goodness gracious me. That was almost 3-1 Atalanta. It's a great save from Sorrentino, and we do manage to clear it straight from the off. We're under the cosh. It's another cross, and we've got to be careful with it. Ugh. I don't know if we're just bad in the air or what. Also, I believe Rigoni having one of his first starts, certainly in my memory. Durdovic with a beautifully caressed pass there. Through for Villalba. He's going to send it towards the back. That's a great touch there from the keeper to deny Mosquero. Just got to be more on the ball. Villalba's going to be uh, taking this one, and that's a good one, actually. Oh, and the keeper almost overcommitted there. Morganella's going to grab it. Send it across to Lazar. See if we can come forward again. Gonzalez. Through to Derdovic. Oh, I was going to say Rigoni might have been through there, but no cigar. Absolutely horrendous game. I'm frustrated. We had so, so, so many chances. We got fucked on the wings. Morganella proves once again that he cannot defend for Toffee. Oh, man, after the results that we had in the last game, I'm so pissed off. But it's 2-1 Atalanta. So here we are in the aftermath of that game. Oh, God almighty, that was so, so frustrating. I had to go take a walk after that one. That was horrible. We had so many chances to catch them out. I mean, they just, at, at points, they were literally passing it from the goalkeeper to our players. And we still 
could not capitalize for shit. And I think this is an, another great op uh, another great example of where my finishing personally is just really costing us points. Um, but that loss against Atalanta is a loss, one of maybe only a couple that we can really afford to have over the course of the next few games if we want to maintain our spot. Uh, our next game here is against Frosinone. Um, I think that we did possibly okay against them. Um, but we're going to go away here against Frosinone in this game, and we need to desperately, desperately get some points. Here we are at Frosinone, ready to take on a team that we should realistically be looking to drag some points out of. We are in the rain today. Um, I don't know what to say about that. The only change I've had to make is uh, Pablo Mascaro getting a little bit knackered after the last game. He played the full, uh, the full time as I was kind of starved for players in that particular position. But uh, as it is, we're going to keep coming here. We're going to see how we do. We might have an early opportunity with Gilardino getting across to Hilliamark, who plays it nowhere in particular. Good tackle from Vasquez. He's going to get it back off of Hilliamark. It's a good defensive tackle. Let's see if we can make more chances like that. Um, Frara, their number seven, puts it across to Rossi. Oh, it's in the back post. Oh, no. It's an own goal. Oh, they've headed it in at the back post. And Delkovic, like a fucking blue ass fly at the back there. And it's hit off the post. Maybe the crossbar as well. Oh, no. Just off the post. And then back off of Sorrentino's wonderfully toned ass into the back of the net. And it's 1-0 Frosinone. I mean, there's just no one in front of him. It's just every fucker is a Frosinone player. And Hilliamark twisting and turning. And it's a cracking shot from Hilliamark. I'm glad someone's doing their job at the moment. Weaved in and around the box there to cull the number four. Oh, God, yeah, it was a great turn there. And it's a cracking finish into the top left. Brilliant goal from him. One all. Enough love in the Swede. Um, they're coming forward again. Schiaffani. Oh, it's another great ball, and that one goes just, just wide. I think he was offside. Yeah, he was. But again, another example of how we can just get sliced open by even any aerial ball. Here comes Hilliamark again. It's a great fake shot. Oh, and he's going all the way here. Can he do it? Oh, Vasquez! Vasquez collects it! He follows up! Franco Vasquez makes it 2-1 Palermo. It was a great run by Hilliamark. It should have been a far more convincing finish from him. But the keeper palmed it straight at the feet of Franco Vasquez, who we know has been a little bit out of form recently. But he's put away that. It was a fucking open goal, but never mind. 2-1 Palermo. Gets a throw in quite a tight area. That's quite nice. Um, Katal. You can come forward, lad. Turn your man. Sends it into the near post. And Gilardino can't quite direct the header on target there. Um, it was a bit of a rough one to concede. And then number four... Not good enough there. Gilardino, how have you not finished it, son? Oh, man, it's the same again. He's not done well there. And then they've hoofed him back at their keeper. I have no idea what's going on here. It's absolute fucking pandemonium. So I'm just going to send it in. And Hilliamark gets his head on it. Cannot direct it in any way. No two ways about it. Uh, Gilardino should have buried that. And that will go as yet another miss for him. Um, and Delkovic tracking. I mean, the, the half-time whistle's about to go here, and I hope it goes sooner rather than later, because it looks like Frosinone, despite everything I want to do, are probably going to try and mount attack. But, whew, geez, that was uh, an exciting first half for sure. Um, we should be more goals. We, sh we should be up by more goals, rather. Um, Franco Vasquez getting a goal. I'm sure that'll do wonders for his confidence. Uh, I think that's probably his eighth of the season, which really, for a man of his stature in a squad like this... Not really good enough. However, at the moment, 2-1 Palermo. Let's see if we can score some more in the second half. 
here comes Villalba on the break. Oh, and the keeper's, the keeper's fluffed up. He's run right past it. And Villalba, he snuck in past the keeper. I have no idea what the keeper was doing. Absolutely no idea. But Villalba, with all the space in the world, watch this. Keeper comes out, runs right past it, and Villalba just able to kick it into the back of the net. 3-1. You know, one of those things. Oh, man. This is it. Hilly Mark stabs it forward. Giladino's never going to get there in a month of Sundays. Crivello's going to get there first. See if we can... Oh, pressure him into doing something stupid, and he does. And Hilly Mark's going to use his strength here. Nip it through for Villalba. Oh, I took it first time. It was pretty good, but the keeper stood strong. We're just making great chances here to capitalize on our lead. But unfortunately, no luck at the moment. Put forward for Villalba. He's going to try and steam away from his man. Steam away from his man is what he's going to do here. Oh, it's a great run. Oh, fired at the keeper. Had to. Had to, after a run like that. Fired at the keeper. He scored from a similar angle a few games ago. No luck there. Try and keep it going. Hilly mark now. Finding his way in. Oh, lucky. Almost managing to sneak through and get into a good position. Yalo through for Giladino. Vasquez picks it up at a good spot. Puts a cross for Gilardino. Oh, it's a great tackle. Oh, man, he's not going to be able to uh, to make amends for that terrible miss he had earlier. I usually say that as bad as he is at finishing those one-on-ones, he usually comes back and scores a decent goal at least. No such luck this time round. Uh, Mascaro grabs it, puts it through for Cotal. He's going to put it back for Mascaro. He's going to try and ride that challenge. And Mascaro's going to have a drive. Hits the defender, goes out for a corner. Oh, boy. Vasquez is going to take this one and try and send it in pretty deep. <gasps> and we do get our head on it, but nothing comes of it. And Cotal grabs it. And he's fouled. Horribly. Horribly fouled. Um, let's see. 31 yards. Yeah, this is a, a Vasquezable territory, I think. Try and see what Vasquez can do with it, and he gets it a good kind of uh, good kind of height, but it nips just past the post, and that is the end of the game. Full time whistle, three one Palermo. We came back from a terrible goal to concede, a horrible own goal, but we've uh, we fought well. We got a good few goals there. Vasquez scored, Villalba scored again. You know he was so dangerous all game. I'm actually, all things considered. Really, really happy with that result. Three points for us. So here we are after that game. Pretty chuffed with that. I'll take the three points. Um, as I said, we can't really afford to lose too much. Um, because we, we do want to stay. I'd like to finish fourth rather than fifth, obviously. I think that's, that's fair enough. But um, only three more games to go this season. Um, we made a good account of ourselves in the last game by coming back. Um, a quick look while they're here as well. Um, this lad, Philip Schultz, waiting for him to turn 17 so we can bring him in as our full-time keeper. 71 rated so far. He is looking really, really good. I'm a big, big fan of him. Masucci, our youngster as well. I think he's still 15 years old. He's trotting along quite nicely in the 60s. He's going to come out with a good set of skills on him too. Obviously, Mascaro has grown 12 points or 12 uh, overall stats this season. Absolutely manic. Absolutely crazy. Going to keep adding to him. Villalba's still doing well. Derdovic, we'll see. Uh, Derdovic would like an increase in his contract, but it's not something I can actively uh, kind of offer him at the moment. If he sticks around to the end of the season and we do get, you know, the money for finishing wherever we finish in the table, I'll consider doing something then. But until then, we've got to kind of rely on him to hold on. Uh, but yeah, that is where I'm going to end the episode. If you did enjoy, please do leave me a like and a subscription, and I will catch you guys next time.